exercise 1 parametric equations number 1 now let h be a curve given parametrically by x equals a sec theta and y equals b tan theta and theta is a parameter such that theta lies between 0 and 2 pi radians a and b being constants but you have to find the Cartesian equation of h right now just pause the video and, and have a go at this yourself Okay, now you might recognize the fact that you've got a sec and a tan. So we're going to use the device that 1 plus tan squared theta equals sec squared theta. So clearly we'll need to square these ones. So we'll set that up. We'll have x on a equals sec theta. And we'll have y on b equals tan theta. So we'll have x squared on a squared equals sec squared theta and we'll have y squared on b squared equals tan squared theta so all we need to do is substitute that back into that identity and we'll have 1 plus y squared on b squared equals x squared over a squared there's probably a more symmetrical way of writing that Take this across the other side, we get x squared on a squared minus y squared on b squared equals 1. And so you might have recognized that this is the Cartesian form of the hyperbola. And this is obviously the, the parametric form up here of the hyperbola. Right, number two, let C be a curve given parametrically by x equals h plus r cos t and y equals k plus r sine t. And t is a parameter such that t lies between 0 and 2 pi radians. h, k and r are constants, and r being of greater than 0. Find the Cartesian equation of C. I'll just pause the video. Okay, now... In this case here, you notice you've got the cos and the, and the sine. So again, we're going to use that identity, that uh, sine squared t plus cos squared t equals 1. So we'll just do a bit of rearranging here. So take the first one, and that will be x minus h divided by r will be equal to cos t. And we'll have y minus k divided by r equals sine t. Squaring both sides, we'll have x minus h all squared on r squared equals cos squared t. We'll have y minus k all squared on r squared equals sine squared t. Therefore, x minus h all squared on r squared plus y minus k all squared on r squared equals sine squared t plus cos, cos squared t because sine squared t plus cos squared t equals 1 so we've got x minus h all squared on r squared plus y minus k all squared on r squared equals 1 and keep it nice and symmetrical, multiply both sides by r squared, and we get the result x minus h all squared plus y minus k all squared equals r squared. And you might have recognized this, this as being the Cartesian form of a circle with the center at h, k, and a radius of r.